is up Marvel Universe fanatics it's Ash Rock back with another review this is gonna be on the Avengers movie series Ooh, excuse me I just burped the <laughs> so Chicago style hot dogs man they ain't no joke uh, this is the Avengers movie series Hawkeye Hawkeye um, this figure came out roughly about I want to say three weeks ago maybe a month ago uh, I was fortunate enough to find this along with his little counterpart, the Black Widow, so you guys can guess what the next review will be. <laughs> hint, hint. Um, at a Toys R Us. Uh, so brand spanking new that they didn't even have a price associated to the figure. And I went up to the register. It was one of those where they scanned it and it wouldn't read. And she's like, I don't know what the price is. And I'm like, oh, it was, you know, two ninety nine. You know, then she started laughing because she knows damn well um, I was full of shit. But anyways... Uh, that's a true story, I swear to God, it was funny. But uh, I did get a, get a hold of them, so I beat the scalpers. You see that right there? That is the uh, middle finger. It's all you scalpers. Um, but yeah, so I got the figure finally, man. So really, really cool stuff. Uh, let's start off with the paint apps. Now, a very, very movie accurate, um, extremely movie accurate, actually. Uh, let's look at the actual Hawkeye from the movie and then let's look at him and then let's look at the Hawkeye from the movie and then let's look at him and one more time let's look at the Hawkeye from the movie and that wasn't the Hawkeye from the movie but I thought it was a funny picture I would like to share with you guys so there you go now uh <laughs> such a goof um yeah but the pain apps are absolutely awesome dude i really really like them a lot um very simplistic throughout but a very nice nice uh nice coloring uh the arms could have used a little more shading maybe you know what i mean just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit and uh yeah but i mean you can tell I'm I'm singing Aretha Franklin. It's been a it's been an awesome week for me. I'm I'm on vacation this week, and all I have done is sleep and eat and sleep and eat. I think I took like three shits this week too, so that was exciting. Um, back to the figure. Damn, I'm I'm just yeah I'm out of it. Okay, uh, but really really cool. You can see the belt buckles throughout there. Very very nice. Um, what's really cool too, right in the front, you can notice the shield logo. That is really, really cool, man, on the strap that connects to his um, his little uh, arrow spot where his arrows would be. There are no arrows. It's absolutely, it's not even, hole. there's no holes in there either. So you can put arrows in there, there's nothing. So uh, kind of a letdown there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's really just he's really just one color. It's like this black and bluish look to him, and then he's got this uh, maroon in the middle. Um, but what's really cool about him, too, Let's talk about his weaponry. He comes with a staff. A staff that maybe the ultimate Hawkeye should have came with. You know what I mean? This thing is really, really cool. And a matter of fact, call now and you don't just get one staff. You get two. Absolutely free. Call now. Shipping and handling charges are separate. Um, but <laughs> you do get two of these bad boys, man. Um, so it's really, really cool. You also get some kind of gimmicky weapon. Which you guys know me, my gimmicky weapons. I chucked it. I don't even know what I did with it. It comes with some little mechanism there, and you can blast stuff and whatever. Not really interested in that. And let's zoom in on the head sculpt. So, really cool. Uh, somebody brought it up in my last review about uh, him wearing glasses and how movie accurate is that. And I don't, I mean, I saw the movie twice, and I don't know how many times he wore glasses in that movie. I don't think it was that much. Oh, little paint spot is right there by the neck. You can see that. But, um, you know, it's not a big gripe. Uh, I wish maybe he would have had, like, a you know, removable set of glasses. That would have been kind of cool. But, you know, as collectors, we ask for too much sometimes. For paint apps, I'm going to give him a 4 out of 5. Not bad with the paint apps. Now, articulation. This is where things go down the toilet, in my opinion. He's got the ball joint up here. No upper biceps. Single joint elbows rotates at the stupid elbow oh god i hate that so much uh he's got the ball joint head uh does not move you know it moves all right you can't really pose it up that much at all really you can't this is as far as i can take it up 
down that's it so kind of lackluster there no waist no upper ab he's got the ball joint uh, hinge on the legs which is kind of cool uh, single jointed elbows no rotation at the at the ankle rotates at the knee because you know when when you're posing figures that's how you want to you want to be like huh yeah oh god I broke it um, so that's really stupid I wasn't a big fan of that to be honest with the articulation here so for articulation my man you get a whopping two out of five that's right two out of five what are you gonna do shoot me with some kind of special arrow because you don't got none, see? <laughs> Sucker. All right. And the uh, the final score will be a 3 out of 5. Um, I don't think this is a bend over backwards, get this figure no matter what type of figure. I'm not a big movie uh, figure collector, to be honest. I got this. Uh, I think I got this, honestly, strictly based on the hype. Like, like a lot of people were posting pics. And like, oh, my God, I got it. Like, on the, on the MUC uh, uh, Facebook page. And uh, people were posting pics, and oh my god, I got her, you know, I got him, and I got her, and my god, they could like do it, you know, and um, yeah, I, I, I don't think it's that great of a figure, to be honest, I think the greatest part for me personally is the arrows, I like, I like weaponry, um, I know it's a little, you know, maybe stupid to, to buy a figure for $9 just to get some arrows, but I wanted the arrows too, um, for some ACBA and some other possibilities, but uh, still not a bad figure. If you're a big fan of the movie and you like that, and you like the um, you like that different dynamic, then fine, go for it. Um, but again, I don't think it's worth like you know like some. You're not gonna. He's not easy to find. Um, and when you do find him on eBay, they you know you guys already know the story. So don't pay too much for him. Pay face value. It's nothing super. It's nothing super great it really isn't the whole line has really been a letdown to me personally and they're so like the the market is over flooded with these figures right now it's it's just disgusting you go to any store and there there is like rows of pegs full of avengers figures and it's like why they're they're not that great you know like why not oh. I want that. I guess it's because I want the MUs to come out already. I want to see a, a row full of astonishing beasts and Cravens and and better Ray Bills and you know what I mean, She Hulks. Like that's what I want to see as a collector. But again, I understand it. Avengers movie. They're gonna push the Avengers figures. It is what it is. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching as always. And the next review 